If you like this video, please consider supporting the Otokana channel over on Patreon. Thank you. Hey there, how are you? It is a Thursday the 29th of November. I can't believe it. we only have one day left till December. Black Friday and Cyber Monday just happened and I found a really, really good deal on Cass Art for the Schmincke paints because their Schmincke paints tend to be cheaper than Jackson's to begin with and then they had 20% off everything and I always wanted to stock up on some Schmincke. I already have some Schmincke but for me to be able to advise on Schmincke paints because I get a lot of questions on what do you think about Schmincke paints I thought I needed to have a better coverage of their range so I made the best out of of the Black Friday sale and bought myself a few few tubes and I am about to set up a full range palette this is something I do for brands that I have either a full range of or have more than maybe like a half of the brand's range because it's my job to know a lot of the colors so whenever I can afford it I buy more colors and you get to a point where just keep adding colors as you go in a random order it doesn't make sense anymore it's much easier for me to have a palette that has enough space for the whole range and then just keep adding colors as I buy them I already have a full range palette in Sennelier and Holbein and they are a full range ones because they I think they only have about 100 plus or so colors and then i also have one for daniel spears which is nowhere near full because they have so many colors and i'm not even trying to get the full range i just needed space to put all the colors so i'm going to be creating the same thing for the schminke palette so that i can have really easy access to all the colors i do have and a space for somewhere for colors to go when i buy new ones so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not going to be much talking. It's more visual of me setting it up and then pouring the paints. And so I hope you enjoy that. So here's the seven palettes I've set up for Schmincke. And on each one of them, I have the color name, the pigment code, how light fast it is indicated by number. Schmincke does their light fastness out of five, as you can see and whether they are transparent or opaque, as well as whether they're staining or they are granulating. I don't normally do all the info for the colors. This is the first time I've done it for a full range set. And I just wanna see if the information on the palette is gonna be useful to me for my job as someone who talks about watercolor paints on YouTube. Obviously, you don't need all this information if that's not kind of your job or not your interest, just the color name will do. And I use this palette rather than a more intense condensed palette just because these palettes are so cheap and I can just stack them in a row. These are probably about one pound something maybe two dollars at the most which is fantastic when you need to have so many palettes on the go to house all the colors of several brands as i said before this is my job you do not need to do this you do not need to own this many paints either it's purely because my job is literally talking about watercolor paint on this channel so the first thing i'm going to do is arrange all these tubes that i've have spread around the palettes into where they're supposed to be going and then i'll be pouring the paints into the palette i've arranged the colors in the same order as the schminke dot card if you want to see all the colors that Schmincke has without having to buy so many tubes, then I highly, highly recommend their dot card. It's a full range and you get to have a play with the colors and see what colors you like for yourself before committing to a full tube. So that's all the colors arranged. As you can see, it's mostly the bright colors as that's my own color preference. There's very few of the neutral colors and earthy colors. This is the neutral palette 
and here is all the earthy colors there's a lot more gaps there i tend to stick to more transparent colors and light fast colors rather than opaque colors and colors that can fade the more opaque colors that i have for Shuminke were colors i bought a lot early on in my journey when i haven't learned about the positives and negatives of both transparent colors and opaque colors and realized that I prefer transparent colors. There was a couple interesting things I learned. I had a old tube of mauve from Schmincke and I've learned that it's now been renamed Schmincke Violet. If you have a tube of mauve and you're looking for it and you can't find it, look for Schmincke Violet and also Madder Red Deep. Even though it has the word matter, which kind of tends to always imply that it's not going to be light fast, this is a light fast version with PV19 and PR179. So you are safe to buy this if you are keen on a matter red color, but you want the light fastness. All I've got to do now is pour these paints into the palette.
And that's all the colors poured into the palette. I'm really, really happy with the result. I'm looking forward to swatching these colors out and getting to test them and be able to answer more questions you have about Schmieke paints in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.